Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor and we're back in the Flatfells. Uh, we've been sent to Mist Hallow by Runeric and by Leothred, but before we go there, which is uh, the next uh, stage in our journey through the Walls of Langblood, uh, we still need to go to Sundergrad and a couple things that can be done around the area. So, that's what we're gonna do instead. We're gonna get this one up, Sundergrad, and the Legacy of Durin as well. Uh, we need to cross the Skerak Rip, which is this uh, bridge to the south. Let us grab the Warstead, because from what I remember, there's a lot of things to do in Sundergrad and the vicinity. And I want to make sure that I do all of it in today's episode. I mean, I I, I don't want to stop this episode in the middle of the thing because I don't remember that experience being pretty. So yeah, gotta be fast. Bridge, I think it's that one over there. I mean, the path will will eventually take you there. There's a connection. No dwarf markers. I was just double checking. Oh, I was too too much to the south. Get a break. Cross it. And from here, I think we can proceed on foot because there are a couple things we can do in here. Yes, but there's also, I don't remember the exact location, but there is also a cave, oh, for God's sake. There's also a cave somewhere around here, and uh, find a couple more quests inside that cave. And as far as I remember, there's no other quest that will take you to the cave. You basically gotta find it on your own. But it's a pretty cool cave. So it's worth taking a look. Where it is. I don't remember exact the exact location, but the entrance. Oh come on! It's gotta be somewhere around here, and I'm not going to Sundergrad uh, until after I I find that cave. You know what would be funny if there turns out to be a vector to that cave. I don't remember any anything of that kind, but... You never know what I might, might have missed. Okay. Here we go. Claws in the claw. Scraper's claw. Thief claws have long inhabited the area known as Scraper's claw, scrapping their horns upon the sides of that rocky crack. They pose a deadly threat to the end very unfortunate who might enter the club. You should put an end to the danger they pose. Yep. 
that what we're doing basically oh, gotta defeat 10 of these guys and basically we just gotta reach the end of this cave we'll get plenty of cave of cave claws along the way But this is what we were looking for. Give me just a moment. We're gonna finish this claws in here. Thanks to your efforts, Scruffer's Claw is clear of the Cave Claw threat. The creatures will not remain away forever, but for now, what few folk find themselves adventuring in that place need not fear the sharp claws or stabbing horns of those creatures. So on one hand, we have a treasure cache in here. But on the other one, we have this thing over here that, well, it seems to be some sort of deep claw, giant deep claw. But as far as I know, we have not heard, or we have not found the answer to this one yet. For a long while, some people theorized that would be the boss of a new raid, but uh, it seems that's not the case. Here is another exit, another possible exit, uh, and let me just double check the last pathway through here, another possible exit as well. Three different entrances to this cave. Um, so, well, you can take whichever one you prefer. It's all the same, basically, but well, it's a short, very short place to be and once again there's nothing sending you in here and uh, the giant dip glow seems some sort of clue or easter egg or, or something it's not coincidental can't be but we have not found the answer as to what it is exactly yet that was attacking me oh for god's sake Finish rendering. Freaking bad. <laughs> Took longer to load than to defeat. Ugh. Now, we can uh, safely continue on to Sundergrad. Dwarf Marker. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. We are so close to place there had to be a marker in here and this would be marker number four okay we're not doing so bad the sound of goblin cries echoes among the cracks near Sundergra. do you smell that goblins do you smell that Oh, the goblins have attempted to reinforce the gorge since they were last opposed in this land, Veriathan. They cannot evade my nose, no matter how they try to cover their foul scent. So you see here, perception, uh, smell has increased by one. So yeah, the practice is doing good. I feel more accomplished already. This sojourn to Sundergrad has proven fruitful already. Let's see what it did to the others. Sundergrad, talk to Nath. Kinda of weird, there are two different dwarven companies, but they are not talking to each other, but well. Uh, this place is crawling with goblins. Did you see the old ruins on our way from Skedavrik to Sundergrad? Aye, ah, Strombarth and Ekbarth, those old watch posts are cold. I would recommend we scout them ourselves and take care of any goblins lurking about the old ruins. You cannot be too careful. Alright. The old dwarf vault of Sundergrot lays in partial ruins next to the flatwells. Its vaults are now home to many goblins intruding upon the abandoned dwarf structure. 
You should defeat those who intrude upon Sundergrot in order to best assist your companions, Rosa, Dagatur, and Nath. What do we have here? Ah, weapons for the Legacy of Durin. Okay. Now, as tempting as that sounds, you really don't want to pull a lot of goblins in here. There aren't that many, but they can be overwhelming if you're not careful. Oh, come on. Here we have Benko. Okay. Together, we will answer all our foes. Stand with me, Baryatan, and together we will answer all our foes. Let them fear my blade, and I will sharpen it on their hides. More? Okay, let them come. Go, it is just collateral damage. Benko shouts in triumph and goes in search of more goblins. Okay. But for now, that's all we can do with him. Okay. Any dwarf marker in this side of the gorge? be great if that was the case, but it seems not. There are a number of goblins here. Too many. Yeah, the sappers are a pain. That's why you don't want to pull a lot of these guys because that happens. But Ever since I last did this this uh, portion of the game, uh, we've had the new allies. So we are already doing better than last time I was in here. Thank God. All right. Now we just need to go back to Bangkok eventually. <laughs> a few more of those weapons. Take it. Do it. What's in this chest? Eh. Can't live without it. I got a feeling that this is a place where there's something hidden, but I don't know exactly what. Scout Strombarth. Okay, so yeah, that's what I thought. 
there is something else to the south, and hopefully there we'll find anything. Something. A dwarf marker, a treasure cache, something. Got to be. I mean, I suck at finding the, the dwarf markers and the treasure cache, but I still can try. This one over here, for example, this cliff. Looks promising, but... Well, that was not it. However, this is the entrance to Strombar. Still more foes await you. Still I am ready to fight them. Thank you. Now defeat foes, destroy supplies. And do that too. Sappers can do that. If you're not careful, they can still kill you. The game has been made easier as years go by, but something that doesn't change is Goblin Sappers are a big pain and they can really mess you up. And I already seen him, so it's good. Ah, oh, screw these sappers! Is that it? Fuck the Ruzat. Okay. Yeah, let us go back. Let us try to avoid any unnecessary fights. A dwarf marker, I knew it. Oh, come on. Grab it, please. Halfway through. And with any luck, the remaining five will be located on Mist Hallow, which is the second section of the Wilds of Langflot. It makes some sense that we will have five markers in the Flatfields and five markers in Mist Hallow, but I don't know if that's truly the case. We'll find out soon enough. If we can get the deed, that's great. If we can, well, that's great too. Not gonna lose any sleep over it. Back to Sundergrad, or well, well the, the outskirts of Sundergrad, I should say. We still need to defeat 10 more goblins in there. Uh, and, and 
will. We need we need to advance that quest. I want to advance that quest before going back to the works. Could be simple enough. Present here, so at least I hope we'll do better against the goblins in this place. All right, quest completed. Let us talk to Ruzat first. I thank you for clearing the old watch posts, my friend. You have done a great service to us and to the Bjornings. The fewer the goblins in the flatfields, the better, no? <laughs> now let us continue with the survey mission. I have taken a glance inside Sundergrot and I am sure you can guess what it is I saw in there. Oh, that is correct, my friend. Many more goblins lurking inside. Too many for only the four of us. If we are crafty, we should be able to serve you all of Sundergrad and thwart whatever plans those goblins have with the old dwarf hold. Now let us continue on our mission. So I guess we need to enter Sundergrad to uh, unlock uh, all these this, uh, quests we need to, to do now to complete uh, Rusat's quests. I guess that's what we will be doing next. Ah. Oh, come on. Let us go then. Let us enter Sundorgrad and... Yeah, let us pray it goes well. Golden supplies, evaluating the hold, mining suppers, and biting insects. The old dwarf hold of Sundergrot lays in partial ruins next to the Flatfells. Its holds are now home to many goblins intruding upon the abandoned dwarf structure. You should destroy the goblin supplies found in Sundergrot in order to best assist your companions Ruzat, Agatha, and Nat. I think we can remove this for the Legacy of Duty and the Mist Hallow quest we can also remove. That way I can keep better track of the quests I need to find in here. Because let me tell you, if I had to go, if I have to go back to Nat and, uh, or, or, well, one of the dwarves and get, I mean, I didn't see any rings on them, but what now? I think everything is in here. Because that I gotta be really careful. Oh, yeah. Mine in vain. I mean, it seems no other quest will require us to defeat goblins. Well, we already completed that one. Oh, 
old war vault of Sundergrot lies in partial ruin near the floodfields. Its vaults are still dotted with various ores and gems. You should gather samples in Sundergrot and return them to Nath. Okay. Now we can do... Fighting insects. Oh, right. The old dwarf vault of Sundergrot lays in partial ruins next to the flood fields. Its vaults are crawling with various insects from the dead. Perhaps you could find some of the more nibbling variety and give them as a gift to those goblins sleeping in the old dwarf structure. It just might shorten the goblin stay. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, I remember these quests now. Uh, the only one we're missing is the sappers. And I remember... I remember that one. That was a big pain as well. So... Where to next? I mean, Sundergrat is, is kind of a maze as well. I don't have particularly good memories about it. of Langflot, Goblin, and Orc Slayer. Good. Confidence is now level 70. Let us take a look at it. Some Virtue XP and more than gold marks. No Lotro points. That's weird, because this one gives Lotro points, but less Virtue XP. What's the reasoning behind it? Anyway, no Lotro points for the Goblin Slayer did. Um, yeah, I think I know the reason why. Back when the Walter Blank plot was originally released, the Goblin Slayer Deed and the Troll Slayer Deed had some bugs. I don't remember exactly which, but they were reset. So basically, the old deeds were removed and new deeds were introduced. Uh, your progress on those deeds was basically erased as well. So it seems that's what happened. So they decided to give more a Virtue XP with those deeds, but no Lotro points. I don't know why. Maybe it was to avoid the players that have already completed those deeds to get double Lotro points because uh, with time, the, the Lotro points rewards have been greatly reduced, seeing as how farmable they can be. Maybe that's the reason why. Screw the sappers. That's so all I will say. Screw the sappers. minute ago 10 seconds ago you were not there ah! Ah! 
go. The old dwarf fault of Sundergrot lays important points next to the plot, because its faults are now harm to many goblins, intruding upon the abandoned dwarf structure. You should dispose of the goblins' mining bombs found in the Sundergrot in order to protect the faults of this old structure from collapse. Now we gotta find the bombs, basically, and throw them in here. This quest is also highly farmable because this... I mean, you, you gotta find a bomb and then go back to the bridge to throw them. So by the time you go back, uh, the bomb will have respawned. So you can basically just farm one single location to complete that, that quest. This one in here, actually. This was not the bomb. We gotta find one of the locations of those freaking bombs. This raid, we're gonna complete the other tier of this Slayer Deed before we're done with this place. It's just so big. Here, no. Not in the landscape version of Sundergrot, but some missions which we'll get to at a later point in the series. We'll have trolls in here, and that's a pain. Big pain. We're not there. What is it with goblins suddenly coming out of nowhere? Treasure cache. Well, at least there's one. I think there is actually even more caches here in Sundergrot. This place is so big, it wouldn't surprise me there were more. Insects and ore. That's a whole other thing. Through this sapper. Oh, please, yeah. to attack you. Thank you. No, this is not a good time for luck. There's never a good time for luck. That's been established. Oh, 
go. Please. This is another bridge. Uh, so I guess this is where we need to, or we'll, where we will find uh, the bombs we need to dispose. that I need the bombs is a pain getting rid of them is really easy Fighting insects and goblin tents. At least we only need to find four of those now. At least the goblin's shouts are still funny, even after all these years. We have one tent in here. I think this one is really funny too. Yeah, they go running away. Ah! Here it seems. Just missing one more orbane. And the freaking bombs. God, why is why are the bombs so hard to find? I don't know. When we eventually do, I tell you, I'm gonna be very happy. When we eventually do, it's gonna seem so simple by comparison. <laughs> Or a vein. Bring the samples to Nat. Yeah, I will do so. Promise. <laughs> Goblin cut. Yeah, we also need to find those, but the bombs. Where are the bombs? them for the bombs. I mean, I don't have a kingdom of anything, but... Desperate now. At 
is this upper tide going to bomb on us? I mean, I remember very distinctively the bombs were really close to one of these two bridges we have already uh, been to. I'm just going desperate now. I mean, I'm basically back to the entrance now, and that's not where I need to be right now. something else. This cases in which you really need to be standing right next to the item for it to activate, something like that. Quest triggered when we were at the first bridge. It would make sense in a way. Yeah. You have to be there, but. We got the last tent. That's not much, but we got it. Look, yeah, 147 of the things. Had we been using a deed accelerator, we'd be done with these guys already. Indeed, Quest of the Wills of Black Blood. Okay. So, we have completed Quests of the Flat Bills. And uh, we have opened a new deed. So, Hero of the Flat Bills is our new title. You have aided the Protectors of Wilderland. And we just need to complete now the Quests of Mist Hollow. We have already started that deed. Huh. 
Yeah, we'll get to it eventually. Insane. You're not gonna fall. We spent a lot of time in here. We're not... We are finishing this. Think of backtracking just for these bombs. This is where we came from. So, who would do this? Ugh. This post a mining bomb? I mean, I guess the, the quest in the tracker gives you enough clues that you need to be near this bridge, but oh my god. This was so stupid, so freaking dumb. Both on my part and uh, the games, I would say. You need to give clearer instructions. Uh, or at least stop with the backtracking. Yeah, the upper bridge in Sundergrad, I already know where it is. Uh, only good thing about it is that now, well, we are really close to finishing. The advanced gear of this did, we'll certainly get it some point. many Here we go Yeah, we're just missing 50 of those We started the episode without completing the first tiers. This will give you an idea of all the work we've done here. Problem is, I remembered uh, the second half of this quest, the bombs near the upper bridge, but not the first one. Again, gotta find the bridge, but after you do, gotta backtrack. Who thought of this? So I was entirely wrong. These bombs are not farmable at all. They can make sure of that. That will give you an idea as well of 
how well I remember this quest. Terribly. Who comes now? Yeah, now we just need to find the exit. I go back to Nath. Do you believe it? Basically, they just did this whole thing, this whole place twice. Ah, oh, bite me. I mean, at this point, I'm just saying thinking, yeah, let's complete the deed. Might as well, we're already here. Ah! We're still missing the, the legacy of doing it. We, we have already cleared Sundergrad for Nath and his party, but we still need to return to Banco. Going to Nima. done with it dude the exit is really close by at this point I'm, I'm gonna get it Here's the exit. Almost got it. How many are we missing? Eight goblins. We'll get plenty of time to fight eight goblins in here. I mean, I think just going back to, yeah, to the dwarves. What do you mean, cooldown timer not expired? of Lancelot, Goblin, and Orc Slayer advanced just by doing Sundergrot. I'm sure I'm not the first one who does this. Ah, uh, confidence. He's now level 72. And that, what we got? Virtue XP and Gold Marks. Let me see these gems and the ore samples you've collected. Ah, uh, this one. This is good. This one? This is nothing special. Ah, uh, this one is fine indeed. Yes, I expect we will need to lead an expedition back here at some point. It seems there are still decent minerals to mine at Sundergrot. Thank you for bringing me the samples. You have done us a great service. Ah, we all were done, and the survey was a great success. I believe we have found Sundergrot to remain a useful dwarf hold. We must bring this knowledge back to Skarhold with us. I know not what, but something is amiss. Agatur looks as if he has something to say. Spit it out, my friend. I overheard some goblins talking while I was in Sundergrot. At the time, I did not think much of it, but perhaps I should revisit what it was heard. What it was I heard. Do you find it odd that the goblins work in camp as if they are commanded, yet there is no commander inside? Yes, well, I heard a few goblins talking about an important meeting that is soon to happen in Sundergrad. 
We this meeting be with this mysterious absent commander? I say we find this meeting and learn what is really going on here. Alright, let's do it then. This is a short one. The dwarves Ruzat, Agatur, and Nath have stumbled upon a secret meeting between Rockroom, Goblin Overseer of Sundagrat, and Gulmarash, the Gundabad Hill Troll Chief. Erythan, we found a meeting. Stop talking so we can hear them. Keep quiet. Yeah, keep quiet, Karolip, you know. Gurbarash, I am honored you have come to Sundergrot on behalf of Gundavat. The offer of my Sundergrot forces for an allegiance to Gundavat still stands. I was told you had an army, a sizable force in your Sundergrot. What I see in these holes is pitiful. I, I can't explain. No need. I see this all empty and the goblins I do see are injured. I lit my orc camp at your holes, and now many are slain. There is nothing to explain, Rockroom. There are dwarfs here, great numbers in the hills, it must be. Lies! A pathetic attempt to explain your own failures. I see with my own eyes that what is here in my decision is final. Gundavat has nothing to gain from it, adding Stundergrad to its court. Come, oh, my orcs, we leave this pitiful place. Gurbarash, come back! No! First, I get kicked out of Goblin Town for siding with the Frost Horde. Then Gundavat won't even accept my allegiance? Rack room, okay. Gah, if only I found those dwarves and the warden mocking about in my holes. Here we are. Now is our chance. Let us attack! Look no further, Goblin. You are your dwarves and the warden you seek. You! I will kill you all! Yeah, I, I, I hope you don't mind, dwarves. Guys. And I'm taking a couple of pictures while you fight. I've been doing the heavy lifting in here, so... You can forgive me if I take a, a moment. Oh, he escaped. Wretch, please. Let him run. I let him run indeed. I think we have done enough for today as well, so. I say leave the goblin to sulk in the hill. Rockroom is of no concern. I say leave the goblin to sulk in the heels. Come, let us leave Sundergrot. Okay, let us leave Sundergrot. You took me back to Limlock. No way. Oh my god, I should have done the legacy of doing then first before completing this. Oh no, I cannot believe this. On. I am glad that we stopped those goblins from joining forces with Gundabad. I hope our paths cross once more, my friend. It is always a pleasure to receive great assistance from, uh, assistance from the great Berathan. I hope our paths cross once more, my friend. Yeah, me too, but next time, please ask me before we travel. Oh. Thank you for your assistance on our survey mission. I hope that you will return to Skarhal with us. Please bring us word from Green Baron as soon as you hear something. That was it, basically. Another quest here in Limlock. Well, we already have the vector to Mist Hallow, but we cannot go there yet. Oh, Jesus. We'll need to meet back with Gloin and the other dwarves in Sundergrot. Oh my god, how I know it. Anyway, what do we got here? A tracery, gambit builder damage, okay. Shield tactics, eh. Enhancement runes. 
Spear Gambit damage. Mm, I'll need to double check that one. But uh, shield tactics we can destroy. So join me next time as we return to Sundergrot and see what else does uh, Glowing want. Well, Emma can bank as well, but you get the idea. For the time being, this has been all on today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care. Good luck to you all, and I will see you later.